Hello everyone, uh, Fluffy here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have for you, I was going to make chop chai, but I decided not to. Uh, I've got spring rolls here. They've got chicken in them. Uh, I made them for my wife for the next couple of days for lunch. So I thought, well, since I bought, got all that stuff out, I might as well just make myself some. Um, here's the dipping sauce. It's just soy sauce, sesame oil, uh, sesame seeds, rice wine vinegar, and green onions. And then here, uh, I ate a, I ate some earlier this week. These are um, fish cakes, seasoned fish cakes. And the lady at the Old Mart who makes them, uh, she doesn't make them very often, but I happened to catch her. Uh, they're really expensive, so I teased her and said, I wasn't teasing, but um, I teased her and said, I need the recipe. And, of course, she wouldn't give it to me. So one of these days I'll learn. I know there's a couple of recipes, but they don't look like they come out like this. So um, this right here. Uh, my daughter made a taught her how to make uh, kimchi jjigae, which is kimchi, kimchi stew, kimchi soup. Um, it's what was left over, so um, mostly just juice, a little bit of kimchi, uh, some meat in here, but um, couldn't help but just how to get a bite. So um, let's get started. So what have y'all been up to uh, since um, the last time you checked in on my channel? Hope everybody is well and healthy, are doing the best they can. Um, me, um, I've been okay. Had a little scare with, uh, Besito. Uh, oh, I want to tell you that, um, uh, my daughter does not, um, do mukbangs at all. Uh, she doesn't think they're, you know, anyway, she's got her own opinion about it, but she was listening to me listening to the videos and she thinks that I'm too monotone. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Um, like, I might as well go, be going, Mueller, Mueller. How many of y'all know that? <laughs> Come on now. It's a Americana movie. Like, it's one of those that you need to see, like The Godfather or something. Anyway, so if I try to change my tone a little bit, I'm not being fake. I'm just, my daughter thinks that I'm kind of too monotone. So I'll try to liven things up a little bit. But... For the most part, I am monotone. It's kind of hard to um, change that when you're talking to a screen. You know what I mean? I mean, I know y'all are out there, but so I'll try. So bear with me. Try to get excited. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, central time. Um, about the best time that I can do these mukbangs. That's why the wife comes home from work and she doesn't have to be quiet. And Of course, I told you what my daughter thinks about them, so... I'm not a gun shy filming in front of her. So everyone's in bed except for the dogs. But hell, even they're sacked out. They're kind of all around me like I told you before. Poor little Basito. Um, had to take him to the vet today. Um, he, um, when we first got him, he was a rescue. Just put a little Tamari on here. He was a rescue. And it was from the nearby city's dog pound and apparently and we didn't know this that all the dogs had kennel cough well lucky for us excuse me lucky for us uh, now the other dogs caught it but it's just a horrible thing to see it was just horrible um, so he got over that but some of the medicine they gave him for it had allergic reaction and then his eyeball and his lip were all swollen so then we had to take him in for that real quick and then um, about a month after that, of course, then he got fixed. Then a month after that, we had that Sheba, my lab and retriever. They love playing with each other. And, um, one time they were running in the house and we hear him yelping his butt off and he dislocated his knee. I don't know if he was running away from her. I don't know. We don't know if she dropped him. I think he hit the furniture we have on the back patio. Remember the chairs, the table egg? Hmm. So, not really sure. But he had to go in for that. I told my daughter and my wife, I'm like, my God, we were supposed to rescue him. He's probably begging to go back to the pound. <laughs> poor thing. I'm not trying to laugh at his pain, but it was like, oh, poor baby. So, um, a couple of days ago, 
we didn't hear him yelp, but we all of a sudden saw him kind of walking wrong and just walking funny. And then he didn't want to jump up on the couch. Uh, anybody bumped him, he'd just yelp. Um, and then I try to pick him up one time and put him on the couch. And I guess I grabbed him wrong and that made him hurt. So we had some pain medication left over from getting fixed and from the dislocated knee. So we started to give him that. And this morning he started coughing like he had kennel cough. And we're like, he hasn't been anywhere. He can't get it again. But we think he was nauseated from the pain medication. So he kind of, you know, so my wife got nervous and said, hey, will you take him to the vet? I mean, my daughter went in as a walk-in. And now the vet says that he's got a back condition and they did an x-ray. But he showed us the x-ray. And yeah, there's a little bit of narrowing, but he's only three years old. We think personally that she would trump him again. Because when they run around the coffee table, he'll kind of paw on her back exactly where she's sore. Because when the doc pressed on it, it was exactly the same spot. So... Four things on pain, pain medication and um, two different types. And so he's like grumpy and kind of passed out here. Oh my God. Y'all, these fish cakes. I've seen him make them. Simon or Martina has made them. Uh, Mong Chi has made them. The actual fish cake, not just how you cook them after the fish cakes. They are so good. They're like rice flour and... There's ground up seafood, fish. Martina did shrimp, I think. Um, so they're so good. And then they're cooked in hot pepper flakes. Tastes like sesame oil. They're so good. People thaw them. You can get them as, you know, if you've ever been to a Korean restaurant and they give you those little side dishes, you know, all the little things in them, those are kind of called banchan. Um, most restaurants, you get them free. Every now and again, you'll catch one that want to charge you, but. Most of the time, you get them for free, at least in this area. Um, you get them for free, and that's the first time I ever had t tasted fish cakes. They were so good, and I've loved them ever since. But I don't get them too often because they're really, I mean, this little bitty container is like five bucks. Um, for five bucks, you can get a whole package of fish cakes that would probably make like five of these. So I really want to find the recipe, kind of like I did the cucumbers. Cucumbers went bad. The rest of them, my daughter threw them away. I think we could have salvaged them, but I went in there tonight. So I wanted to put them in here, and they're gone. So my daughter must have put them in the trash. Oh. So. Yeah. All the way down. So anyway. That's the story of little Besito, so hopefully he'll get better. Oh, these are humongo ones. I use the extra large um, spring roll wrappers. You know, they have the average one that looks like it kind of not quite the size of a dinner plate, and then the other ones were kind of huge. My, when I make them for my wife, they're a little bit longer, and then she cuts them in half because it's like having two. That's why I only made three for me. So I made her six, two a day. She loves them because, you know, like she still works corrections and they've been putting a lot of people outside and, and kind of putting her outside a lot. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Some of them can put their whole mouth. I can't do it. That's what I have in mind. Lettuce and the chapter noodles with glass noodles. There's onions, uh, green onions, sesame seeds, um, and shredded carrots. Yeah, took the chili way out, and now I get hmm, now I get the shredded carrots. Saves me a lot of work. I'm gonna put too much sesame oil in here. Dip tasted real greasy, so let me pour it, mix it, and pour it, and see how that works. Watch now, come out the other end and get it all over myself. Let's see if I can get this whole sucker in my mouth. What do you think? Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Well, guess I should have used my little wrappers and made them smaller. <laughs> So, I've got a couple more people viewing my video. Hopefully, when you see this video, it took forever to upload the other one. It's looking grainy, but because I have it expanded, I was hoping that would kind of help my glass situation. There I am, my glasses situation. I guess until I get a, a freestanding. I just washed the shirt. God dang it. No. A freestanding camera that I can move around. I kept wondering why I put the monitor to the side so you, but I can see myself and make sure that I stay in screen and everything. Because well, the camera's right above the my image, but unfortunately that means there's a glare. So everybody puts the monitor kind of off to the side. But it looks strange to me for people to constantly go because they need to make sure they're still in frame. So I thought, ooh, this way I get to, yeah. I guess I didn't have glasses on, it'd be good. I don't know how to. Oh, it's no way. I could punch. I'm telling you now. Messy, messy evil. Dogs don't get a hold of this kind of rice, though. That's the way I'll do it. Shove it in my mouth. There's the chicken. Kind of looks like tofu, but I promise it's chicken. You know, it's weird. I haven't found a dish that contains tofu that I like, except for the kimchi soup. Now, I'll make my wife a rice cake soup, and that's where I use the coin rice cakes, but I'm sure now she'll want me to use the tube ones. Or the cylinder shaped ones, I guess is the proper terminology. Um, but, and it has lots of tofu in it. And um, she really likes it. I don't know if that's the actual recipe, but I made it up myself. And she's like, you should make that for your mukbang. She's asleep. Maybe she didn't hear that. <laughs> anyway, um, went on a couple of fibro pages, and I don't know. I guess it's cheating, but I kind of went on there and suggested my video. People can start a dialogue. Still no comments. Um, I had one thumbs down on my third video, I think. I was like, oh. So he didn't like me. It's going to happen, you know, but it still hurts my feelings. But see, though, you can't have none of this, baby. It's like really spicy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you're hungry, but you're holding out for human food. And you got your food right over there. Yep. Sometimes I know it's my fault to get him to eat his own dog food. I kind of put one or two pieces of human food in there. So then once he eats those little pieces out, he starts eating the rest of it. I let babe no watch video number. This is one, two, three. It's video number four. Hey. But. I know I lost the noodle. There it is. Um, but these are chopped tang noodles. They're really good. I kind of shoot myself in the foot because when I roll these, because they don't really taste like anything. You know what I mean? They're glass noodles, so they don't really taste like anything, so you have to season them up. Now, in chop jay, they're sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic, salt and pepper, a little bit of sugar, and... Um, 
then the noodles taste super awesome. So what I do to make them a little bit tastier for her is I'll put soy sauce and sometimes I get stupid and I'll tell you why. I'll put soy sauce in it so it kind of tastes like chopped chain noodles. The problem with that is that them suckers get slippery when you're trying to keep them in one place to roll these because you kind of roll these like you would a burrito. Anybody ever worked at Taco Bell? That's how you wrap these. And so you're trying to keep everything, when you do that initial roll, you're trying to get everything back and the suckers get slippery. So this time, I didn't, usually you put it at the very top, you put everything on and then you, that's what I did, and that's all the videos, you put the, the noodles on top. Well, this time I put the chicken on this big piece of lettuce and then the noodles and then everything else would stay to the bottom. So, and that helped a lot. Well, so what are you going to do on the 4th of July? Are you going to stay in? Have your own gathering? Simply go out to eat? Our son is invited us over to his house. I'm trying to remember when the wife is off. Let me show you. I don't think she's off. Tomorrow is day four, which is what, Saturday? No, she's not off. It's her Friday. Oh. Maybe me and my daughter will go over to our son's house. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Maybe I'll do a vlog. I'll have to use my phone, though. No, my phone has HD. It just takes an arm and a leg, and I can't shoot for that long. So maybe a vlog would be good on that. What do you think? I don't know. Is it a mukbang if you eat at somebody else's house? <laughs> or is it still just a vlog? <laughs> you tell me I don't know what the mukbang etiquette is. Hmm. Well, if you learn to make these and you're really trying to eat healthy, they really are easy to make once you get the hang of it. I think the hardest thing for me to learn was how long to dip the sheets in the water. But it's, it's just warm water. I use hot water. And you can still do it with cool water because as the water cools off, you just have to soak it for a little longer. And I move them around and soak them. You know, you try not to break them. And I finish when it starts to feel kind of slippery. Uh, and then you just hold it up over the water and I get as much water as possible. And even though it's a little stiff, when I set it down, by the time I add all the toppings, it's finished soaking and it's real nice and, and pliable. Um, so I think a lot of pe mistakes people make and they have a hard time with them tearing is they think that they have to soak it until it's mushy flimsy, like, like once you wrap it, you know what I mean? And you don't have to because by the time you get all your toppings on there, it's ready to roll. So just try it because it's like a salad on the go. Anything you can put in here. I mean, there's standard things like lettuce and then the noodles. Um, I know um, Thai people use the, or the Vietnamese people use the white noodles. Um, I prefer the chop chai noodles. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know I was trying to avoid because remember I kept pouring juice in and it pulled at the bottom. What do you think? It's so messy. Do you think I could get the whole thing in my mouth? Let's try it. I may not be able to talk, so give me a second. Mm. 
Oh, already. 20 minutes in. So, I had a really bad day yesterday. I spent most of it away. Um, and I'm sure you, um, fiber people can relate. <clears throat> it's not just about pain. There's things like I saw a meme about a guy, like a cartoon guy, like itching his ass off, you know what I'm saying? Just itching all over, and that's part of it. Um, our pain manifests in by way of itching. And it doesn't matter how long you scratch, or if you take, at least for me, um, Benadryl or whatever, it doesn't help because it's it's pain in, in the form of itching. And uh, anyway, I felt bad yesterday. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, I went to bed about 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, which is kind of early for me. And uh, woke up at 11, no. Yeah, woke up about 10, rolled over, let the dogs out, went back to bed till 2. Um, and then, mm, mm, um, stayed out for about an hour, had some of the kimchi soup, and then I told my daughter, I've got to go back and lay down. I'm so sorry. And she's like, sorry for what? She was the one that encouraged me that quit feeling so damn guilty. And if you need to rest, rest. Um, she was just such a big help this past summer. I just can't tell you. Um, especially after I hurt my eye, my wife had to go back to work last year. It's been incredible. But um, anyway, I went and I slept till like seven. I didn't do crap. I mean, I just felt bad. You know, I got up and I did the kitchen a little bit. And, but one of those days and I feel pretty good today. I had to go take him to the vet and then I went to the store to get her medication. Came home. I didn't nap. Well, I got up at about 10.30 and then went back to bed at noon, woke up at 2. That's when we had to take him. But, um, see, this is when you know that you wrapped him well because things don't slide out, even those little shredded, um, sliced green onions. Now, as soon as I say that, you know what's going to happen next step, right? But um, <clears throat> I feel pretty good today. Managed to get a mukbang done because I just get really excited when I see the numbers, my view numbers. Um, just don't have a lot of subscribers, but that's okay. We'll get out. You know, if y'all you know, have fibro, just somebody that you know, chronic illness. I mean, they're all the same. Chronic fatigue. 24 minutes in. Chronic fatigue syndrome is a lot like fibromyalgia they're almost almost identical so anybody with a chronic pain who can kind of relate to what I've been talking about and they can get past me eating and talking mm. so good me in this attitude right here, and I guess that's why my daughter talked to me about how I was in my previous mukbangs. Um, this is more how I am than the first few. But, you know, I don't know. 
people get upset when you joke about chronic pain, but for me, humor helps a lot. You know, I try not to show my pain. Um, so she's like, Mom, she's like, what are you doing? She said, you're so monotone. I'm like, why? Well, I just, I need to be saying Bueller? And she's like, yeah. I said, well, I'll try to be more me. So this is more me. And if I joke about my pain, it's not that I'm making light of anybody else's pain. Uh, everybody handles pain in, in a different way. Um, for me, it's, if I don't laugh, I'll cry, you know, because it does get frustrating. But <clears throat> And, you know, you watch a mukbang and you know it's about fibro, but you kind of want to have a good time. I think that's why Mommy Tang is so popular. Kimmy's just so darn cute. Mm, Kimmy, congratulations. 203,000 subscribers. You go, girl. You go. That is so awesome. I'm so happy for you. So that is so cool. Mama Tang's creeping up close. She's like at one, almost 170. She was at 167 a couple of days ago, so don't tell them where she's at. I have five. <laughs> and I'm not belittling those five. I appreciate you five so, so much subscribing when I only had three videos under my belt. Matter of fact, I said a couple of them were only when I had two. So two videos out, and the first one was crappy. I'll tell you what, I enhanced it till it looks like shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't know how to fix it, but it's my very first one kind of introducing myself, so I really don't want to take it down. Now, on this video, um, I'm going to, I found the editor on uh, YouTube, and I think I can put an intro in there, so hopefully I don't screw it up, so if I get the intro on there, let me know like what you think. Um, I'm gonna try to do it. Make these videos look a little less low, low red. Really? Two fifths to dinner. I'm almost three in the morning. Am I nuts? I'm nuts. <clears throat> I'm a little nuts. I'm going to do the left hand. I'm getting some tomorrow. I'm going to tell y'all. It's a little pricey and a little small to like use it for like cooking and cooking, but to throw on rice, it's almost like a dark soy sauce. It's so good. <laughs> This brand, Sanjay, it says it's gluten-free for those of y'all watching your gluten. And if y'all gluten-free for your fibro, do you think that helps you? It didn't help me. Maybe I wasn't on it long enough. I don't know, but no, it just it didn't work. Wait for a second. Because I felt really, really bad yesterday. I had some kind of some chest pressure, my costochondritis. So it's hard to swallow today. You know, I have a confession to make. And you can tell me naughty naughty on the comments. Still no comments. Hmm. Um, me and my daughter, she went with me to take Basito in, and, you know, she's got Molly to Molly. She's the pug and chihuahua, the little brown chihuahua. 
she was due for her shots anyway, so she says, Mom, I'll just take Molly with us. I said, okay. Well, we were there until after five because um, they had a lot of walk-ins, and they are a really nice place. Um, they love rescues, the thing there. They give you discounts if it's if you've got a rescue dog. Mm. Ooh, it's going down hard. <clears throat> anyway, my confession is, so we stayed till after five. She ate chorizo and eggs for breakfast. I, you know me, I was cutting disease. And um, we were getting hungry. <laughs> I don't know who all sees this, but and I don't know how if they're out of state, kind of like Whataburger is to Texas, um, as I am in Texas. But Dairy Queen, it's a fast food place that focuses on ice cream, but they do have grill items. And um, I had a dude and some fries. They're terrible. The dude is a Chicken fried steak sandwich. Lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise. Oh, everybody knows what chicken, uh, chicken fried steak is or country fried steak. It's like a chopped steak patty and it's breaded and deep fried. And a regular chicken fried steak dinner has white gravy all over it and usually comes with mashed potatoes and corn. Uh, Dairy Queen has put it on a sandwich. And Then I didn't eat all my fries. I had half my fries. I, I felt guilty. I'm like, oh my god, thank god my mukbangers that watch me. My viewers didn't watch this, but I went ahead and confessed. So then I was good for the rest of the night. I didn't eat anything. I had a banana. Right. I knew I'd be doing the mukbang. So this is fish, so that's okay. That's all veggies and chicken breast. You don't like chicken breast or chicken dark meat or white meat. There's chicken breast in here because my wife loves chicken breast, but I'm finding it dry, and that's what I had a hard time swallowing. So she likes it, and they were made for her, so I had chicken left, so I thought, well, I'll just put it in there. Now, there's a sauce I needed. I think it's, um, I always call it fish sauce sauce for the thingies. It's the one Vietnamese make. And when you look at it in the restaurant, and there was fish sauce in it, and I love fish sauce. Um, fish sauce and I think sweet chili sauce, they mix it. You know, I know the soy sauce or people do that peanut sauce, and that's real good. But I'm telling you, fish sauce. And sweet chili all or sweet chili sauce. My wife likes the sweet chili sauce for these, but she can't stand the smell of fish sauce. And my regular fried rice, chicken fried rice, when I first cook it, when I was first frying the chicken, I'll put some fish sauce in there. Because by the time it cooks out, it doesn't taste fishy. And so my wife can't be in the kitchen when I do it, or she won't eat it. And they'll come in the kitchen, I'll make it the, okay. She doesn't like it, but I love it. I do. I love fish sauce. But that taste is the bomb.com with these. Mm. Kind of getting the sniffles. That's spicy the fish cakes and the kimchi chicken. Wife keeps teasing me and telling me that she's gonna buy me those adult bibs. The sad part is. I don't blame her.
I hate watching this straps of a sports bra. There you go. But if I wear the shirt that I'm supposed to, I'll be a topless mukbang. What would that get views? <laughs> and my wife would make stop doing it. This is what the fish cake look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. I now we have to give this last one to my wife. Well, we really didn't talk about fibro too, too much today. That I felt like crap yesterday. You fiber people set up your house to accommodate your illness, like around where you sit. Like, <clears throat> I have this set up. It's got phone charger. I've got a Kindle Fire that I use. I'm supposed to use it to read books, but, yeah, okay. I'm too hooked to the TV. Food Network. Go figure. <laughs> My phone over here on this table, it's kind of cluttered. You didn't see that in the first video. But this new one is kind of wider. But I've got everything that I almost may want during the day without having to get up too often. Excuse me, kind of a convenient thing, but a bad thing because then it makes me not get my ass up off the couch. But there's the dog. You know, he sees little ears. Mm. I think I'm going to save this one for her. I don't want to waste it. I work on my manager habit before she goes to work. Well, hope you'll have a really, really safe fourth. I run into them. Watch your fur babies. Apparently a lot of dogs get lost. The firecracker scare them and they go running. If wifey has to work, I will probably stay home with the dogs. I'm not sure. Depends on what my daughter wants to do. So do you all know a lot of corrections officers? Ever thought what they do? This video is getting to be 40 minutes again, so I'm going to shut this down. I hope you enjoyed this one.
Hope I wasn't as boring as my daughter says I sound on my other ones. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um. Not sure what I'll eat next. Um, it might be um, Asian food, or it might be American food. I don't know. But anyway, I thank you for watching. Is it a sacrilege not to finish your meal in front of the camera? Hopefully not. Just looks so good all piled up, you know. I didn't want to make a little small amount, so. But I'm full. I never thought I'd be full. I mean, I used to eat double this. I'm serious. I don't know what's going on. And yet, I haven't lost any weight. I don't get it. Because I haven't sat on a scale, but my clothes are still fitting just as tight. Girls, you know what I mean by that, right? But uh, anyway, um, don't forget to comment. Once again, please be kind. Um, God bless everybody. Sending out positive vibrations out to everybody. And I hope to see you in my next video. Okay. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye.